everyone, my name is Kong and today we're going to tell the story of the black goat and the white goat. I have to apologize for last week. I didn't do a video last week. It was because we had to go on a boat trip for three days. And that's why I couldn't do a video because really we had to enjoy the fun and we went to lots of places. So without further ado, let's start to draw. So firstly, I'm going to draw the white goat. So here. So basically, there's going to be very, two very small horns here. Because the small goat is supposed to be weak. The tuft of hair is just spikes. And now, there's going to be a lump at the front for its eye, obviously. And long snap down. Its neck is going to be like all, nearly all my other characters, like... Like this, like two vertical lines, and now there's a deer. So the head is nearly finished. You can add the nose with like these pig-like snouts that it can go down to a mouth. So then its eyes are going to be giant because I just like drawing them giant. And they're going to be looking at each other and they're going to look very innocent. But then the eyebrows are going to say that they are scared. You're going to draw shiver marks all over it. And its tongue is sticking out because it's scared. And now for its body. Its body is going to be short and very fat. So here, up to its tail. A very short tuft. And now to its feet. So it's going to have a little small feet here. A little, and a little one here. You repeat the same process, it's just a down line, up, down, up. And then you draw the hooves, which is basically just lines near up the leg. And the white goat is finished. So now I'm going to go with the, I'm going to draw the black goat, which is basically the hero of this whole story. So his horns are going to be slightly longer than the white goat's because... He's very brave, and this shows his resilience. His tuft of hair is going to look more proud and more, like, wild, simply because it adds to the look. So I always draw the horns first. I always draw a horn, a tuft of hair, then a horn first, for obvious reasons. It's going to look, its mouth is going to look nearly the exact same as this, except a bit, like, pointier, if you know what I'm saying. And then its ear is going to be out like this. Its eyes are going to be narrowed down because it is not scared to pick up a fight. They are going to be looking at each other, his eyes. But then his mouth is going to, to be not too cartoonish, but very small, like this. He's going to have a little beard. To prove that he has been through many experiences. His neck's going to be a bit longer. And now to the tuft. His tuft is going to look more like wild and less tame. And his feet are going to be like... They're going to have a little tuft at the ankle. Because like it makes him uh, look more like powerful and all his body's going to go down and its end its tail's going to be like i don't know i always call this like weird type of drawing like fire but i don't think it's appropriate here but that's why i just call it i'm just going to draw a little touch of fur and now i'm going to draw the back legs the back legs are going to be exactly the same if not a little smaller but it doesn't really matter the legs don't have to be long as the ones that i draw here for any of you wanting to try this at home the legs really aren't that hard so after you do this bit which is literally going up and like a little bit of buttons and then this part always has to be smaller than this part so now 
you just color it and you're done so now i'm going to draw the wolf it's nose is going to be round and its head is going to go like this and curved here there's going to be a mouth here which is frowning because it's a wolf and wolves frown a lot they're always mad and then the lower jaw is going to go down to here its ears are going to go i'm just going to do it like this to devil horns and then like little tufts of fur coming out i'm gonna do i'm gonna make its eyebrows and it's going and i'm gonna make its eyes This mouth is going to have very jagged teeth. I know this doesn't look like a wolf, but you have to color it in to actually get the full effect. Then there's like this little tuft of hair at the chest that wolves usually have. And then at the arm here, there's going to be a hand with some claws here, like this. It has going to be tufted like the black goat, and it's going to go here. Its body's going to go down. It has claws on its hands. And we repeat the process on the other side. So, just the claws. Four claws, in my opinion, is the best one. But you can do five claws, three claws, how, ma how many claws you want. The body's go down to here. And it has a very, like, its tail is not too bushy, but I'm going to make it a little bit bushy because fox's tails are very bushy, but not this one. And then its legs are going to go down. It's going to go like this. It's going to have, like, very straight legs. And it's going to have claws. And that is it. And now the story begins. Once upon a time, there was a white goat and a black goat who go to the same river to drink every single day. One day, the little white goat came to drink at the fresh, fresh river when a wolf jumped out of nowhere and asked, Little goat, where are you going? <gasps> I'm going to drink some water. What is on your feet? On my feet? Uh, there are four little hooves. What is on your head? On my head, there are two soft horns. How is your heart feeling? <gasps> my heart is trembling. I am too scared of you. Ha, ha, ha. The wolf laughed before eating the white goat up. <sniffs> the next day, the black goat came to drink at the exact same river. And suddenly, the wolf jumped out of nowhere once again. <sniffs> black goat, where are you going? I am going to drink water. What is on your feet? On my feet. There are four hard hooves. What is on your head? On my head, there are two strong horns as hard as diamond. Well, what is your heart feeling? My heart is telling me to use this strong horn to charge at the bully. <gasps> the wolf was too scared that he ran away. Ha, ha, ha. The moral of the story, always be brave when danger comes. The end. Thank you for watching this video. Please do your own drawings and join me next time on Storytelling with Kong. Bye.